Hello everyone and welcome to another redstone tutorial on the Maizuma channel with Kasyuds. So what I've got for you today is this uh, very compact counter. Uh, the way it works is that you place uh, inside here the number of uh, items that you want to count or simply the number that you want to count it to count up to and then you click it or you can have whatever kind of input you want and then two now and now we can see that this torch will turn on which means that it had already counted up to three and then it will reset automatically if you want to change it just add more items and it will be done as well so let's check it so far three two one now if we press the button this torch will turn on again so you can get your output from here and also this lamp will stay on just to indicate that the system is resetting so let's check it out and it's done it clicks in the end but uh, most of the time it's completely silent so there it is and now let's go and build one of these and then I can show you some applications uh, or at least talk about them and tell you how does this work so let's go so I'm ready to build that and to tell you guys how does this work so start by placing one uh, dropper facing another one and your input can go here or here and then you can place here uh, whatever number of items that you want to count let's use four in the first example so what happens is that whenever you click it it will start sending items into this other hopper here and we can see that it uh, has some items inside yet because we have a signal here so only when it's finally empty that this torch will turn on and it will send a signal to a nor s nor latch that i'm going to build right here so let me try to position this other dropper face in it and inside it we need uh, one item that will give out uh, a strong signal so it will turn on this torch and this item here will jump into this other dropper and what happens is that this uh, comparator will turn on and this should be on the subtraction mode and once uh, this happens it will start uh, this clock right here and then all the items will flow back inside the first dropper so this is the resetting process but as you can see it will not stop in order to stop it we will sense that uh, once all, all the items inside this dropper uh, have already gone inside this other one uh, this comparator will turn off and then we can get a pulse just like this and this item will go back here so the clock will stop and it will finish the resetting process so let's try it again one two three and then we can see that it will reset it's really quick because this is a, a one tick clock and also you can reset uh, the system before the end of the process if you for some reason will need to reset it for example uh, it has five items then four then three then two but you want to reset it now you just need to click this button and let's see what happens so it's it reset it before the end it is uh, without the auto uh, resetting uh, manually resetting it it's as you can see it's very easy and you can fill up this dropper uh, up to I believe 576 items and you can use it to count mobs if you are using for example an automated XP farm you want to count for example up to 100 mobs and then get uh, through this signal uh, damage or healing potion to throw at the mobs in your farm or you can use it to check passwords uh, while someone uh, clicks a button a specific number of times or something like this you <laughs> the applications are up to you but that's it guys it's three by three by four very compact and silent and I think that this might be uh, actually very useful also if you want to use it uh, you, you need to power it weekly so it means basically that you should power it through a block like you can send the signal here or whoops 
from here but not uh, directly like with a repeater going into it a uh, comparator or redstone dust directly because otherwise this will power this block and this block again and the items will start bouncing back and forth so that's it for this tutorial uh, it's a very short one and i hope you have enjoyed this quick idea and that it will be useful for you so thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time bye bye Also, a button works perfectly. It has.